Hey there, welcome to the junk drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about my final Shadow High Series 3 purchase, which is Lavender Lynn. So she was the third one, and honestly, my least favorite of my favorites, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, I think she's kind of cool. I love her glasses, I love her, her weird spiked beret. I think that's kind of fun. So here is the front of the box. The sides of the box are very plain. Uh, she is a photography focus. And then on the back, we have a cross cell of some illustrations. And yeah, so let me get her out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So Lavender is out of the box, but first, accessories. So as always, the, uh, Shadow High comes with these stands. Hers is like a almost pinkish, kind of purplish. Uh, it matches more with her color scheme, unlike the other two that I have. Uh, so I'm really not sure what's going on with these colors of the stands. She also comes with a comb. She comes with this uh, cute little magazine, and I'm assuming it's maybe her photography because uh, on the front is a Series 3 gal. And then there's also other girls in the issue as well. So it's laid out like a magazine, super cute. So yeah, that's a nice, nice little inclusion. So she also comes with a camera, which is super cute. And then on the other side, there's a uh, photo of her and someone, I can't tell who the other person is, but uh, it's a cute little touch. And then the last accessory is this uh, saucer and teacup, which I am not sure what this is about. I don't know if this has to do with the show at all, but uh, yeah, it's um, interesting. So then we move on to Miss Lavender herself. So here is her front. And then her back. So yeah, she has uh, she has a really interesting look. Uh, I do really love her color scheme. It's very lavender, obviously. But um, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of drawn to her her glasses. Any character with glasses, I kind of have a soft spot for. And then her her beret with spikes was was intriguing to me for some reason. So so yeah. So she's got this beret on her head. It is currently uh, tied to her her head. I am not going to take it out because I will never get it back on. But the beret part of it is made of this like very soft. It feels like pleathery, but I'm not sure if that's the actual material. The actual spikes are I'm assuming plastic and they're silver. And then uh, if we move down to her hair, her hair is super long. It's like really long, it goes down to her feet. And the color is, uh, it is a very light, light lavender. I can't tell, there might be some white in here as well. It's hard to, it's hard to tell under these lights, but is it's really light regardless. So, uh, and the quality feels feels like good. There is some gel in it, but something that it's not, there isn't a ton of gel, but if there's enough gel in there that you might want to wash it out. Uh, and then if we move to her face, she's wearing these glasses. Uh, unfortunately, I have some like scuffing inside the rim towards the bottom here, but that's the only like real defect, I guess, I see with her, her stuff. Um, yeah, and she's, and she's wearing these pearl earrings. Very, very classic, simple earring. Her face, or her whole body is like this, this, uh, I'm assuming lavender. <laughs> we'll call it lavender. But, uh, and then she's got a red, like a reddish lip. Um, yeah. She's got a really cute face. And then if we move down to her neck, she is wearing this necklace or this choker actually with this medallion on it. And the medallion has a, uh, I forget what these things are called where it's like a portrait. Uh, but yeah, she's wearing one of those. And this does actually tie 
on the back, so you could take it off if you wanted to. And then if we go down to her shirt, or her outfit, actually, this is one piece. And uh, her sleeves are made out of this, like, uh, very frilly, uh, almost doily kind of material. And uh, it's super pretty. It's very sheer. It's embroidered. Like, the embroidery is, like, insane. And then she has some button details right here. And then the rest of her skirt, or the rest of her dress, is made of the, that pleather material. Same material that Rosie's dress is made out of, but in a lavender color. Uh, and then this all Velcro's in the back, so it is one piece. And then if we move down to her shoes, these are like shoe sock combos. So it's like a, a one sock, basically. Uh, or it looks like a piece of fabric that was put over a shoe. And then there are these shiny mirror-like, I don't know what you'd call these, appliques all over her shoes. And then her heels are super interesting because they're this unusual shape. Also, the back of her ponytail has this, I don't know what you would call it. It's like this ring with these, these two giant spikes coming out on either end. And this is acting as her like, her like ponytail holder. Um, it's, it's really interesting. I don't know if it's a reference to something, but yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Also her nails are uh, silver. They look like they're silver with white tips. And then articulation, same as every other Rainbow High, Shadow High doll. So her head goes around and around. Arm, elbow, wrist, nothing at the waist. She can bend her knee, kind of. Not really in this, in this dress. And that's about it, so yeah. So yeah, this is Lavender Lynn. I really like her. I think she's a fun doll. I love her color scheme. Yeah, like I said before, I'm a sucker for glasses. I love any character, any dolls with glasses. I think they're really fun and cute. And I love the combination of the frilly versus like edgy. She's kind of like, she's kind of edgy, but she's also kind of nerdy, which I kind of, I kind of, I kind of love. So. Like the spike beret is like, that's that's a vibe. That's definitely a vibe. So uh, yeah, I like her. She's, she's a great, she's a great doll. So let me know what you think of Lavender Lynn in the comments below. Uh, thank you as always for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and I will catch you next time.